Welcome to my new video. My name is Björn Friedrich and I'm very happy to be here today and to show you a very interesting invisible detail of Jiu Jitsu. One of my favorite details when it comes to submissions and that's uh, the triangle choke and how to make the triangle choke really really strong. Let me give you, it's not about entries here, it's about finishing the triangle choke and um, let me give you a very a simple and quick understanding of why people pass and escape from the triangle choke. Usually, if I have my triangle choke, if I have my triangle choke here, and the key point is if my bent leg, the leg that is around his neck, is 90 degrees to my upper body, that's okay. But if this leg comes closer to my chest, chance that I can finish the triangle are uh, pretty bad. So if I'm here and he pushes into me, you see, and he pushes my knee into this, yeah, that's very, very bad uh, um, chances of finishing. That means if I'm here and I'm squeezing, I'm not squeezing tight because he should breathe now, which I would want to explain here, but if he's pushing into me and I'm just squeezing, 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 I'm not doing anything, I'm not achieving anything, my, I might achieve something. I might have more strength in my legs and I'm a fucking strong guy and I can do it, but technically wise, it's stupid to squeeze while he is putting my knee in my face. It doesn't make sense from the mechanics. You see, so what really makes the difference is I should never allow this knee come close to my body. That means if I have a triangle choke, and like I said, it's not tight now, it's just holding here. But if he is trying to put my knee into my face, all I have to do is push forward. I have to do, I have to walk on my shoulder and I have to keep that angle. I cannot allow the back. I cannot allow to come. I cannot allow to come to let the knee come close to my face. This is wrong and bad for my spine. If he pushes me, this is what I have to do. You see, this should never come close to this. I can go in angles, that's okay. But the whole message is, I can finish in any way, I can, can do all kinds of finishes, but I should never allow this come close to my body. That's one detail, but that's visible. If you watch it, you see it. There's another detail, which is maybe even more important, and that's what you can't see. If I'm here, and he has really pressure, and even if I, I try to tense my legs up, and I try to move back, it's hard for me to get, it's hard for me to go back. Why? Because I try to muzzle my way. He pushed forward, I push backward, that's not a good idea. You, you don't see the difference, but now I change something in myself and now it's doing the same. Try You know? <laughs> what I did is the most important thing. I put my weight into the contact point from my legs with my opponent. I repeat, I put my legs and my weight at the contact point from my legs to my opponent. In other words, if I'm here and it looks the same, where is my weight? My main body weight is on my back. So when my body weight is on my back and he's pushing into me, I only have muscular force to push him back because my whole body weight is here. Now I put my body weight in my calf. How I do that? by raising my whole body up. You see, my lower body comes up. Here, he's carrying my whole body. There's nothing I have to do. You know, what I do is, you see, I'm, I put it, everything into the calf. What I need to do, I need to rotate my pelvis so I can lift it up as a unit, you know? I cannot have a, a arch back and try to just to come up. I need to rotate, tense up my stomach a little bit, rotate my tailbone and put the whole weight 
into the calf. Right now it's in my, in my um, heel because there is where the weight is. Not here. Now it's in the back. Now it's in the heel. Back, heel. You can make big movements or you just can get small. This is here, it's still in my, in my heel and now it's in my back. You know, and that is the detail here. When I'm here, the first thing I do after I'm having my form, my structure, I bring my weight. Now, I'm not pushing against it. All I do is I put my whole weight here through my calf into his shoulder. That's what I'm doing. And now he has to carry my whole body. And I don't even have to squeeze. I just put my weight here. If he's moving forward wherever I want, yeah, he, he has to carry me. He has to carry me. Really hard to do. And I can finish. So, you know, this is not about how to get to the triangle. This is even not about how to finish the triangle. There are different ways of doing that. This is about how to make this position, the, the mid position, where all the action happens, you know. Even if it's here, for example, you can't finish him. You need, but you need, you need structure. You cannot allow him to move forward and squeeze you. This mid position of a fight, of a submission, you can make stronger by just changing the weight. Just putting the weight here and everything is easier for you and you can have much better structure. You see, and he cannot squeeze you. Yeah, this is just, you see? So, this is a very important invisible concept or unsichtbar in German, <laughs> whatever. But this is really important and, and you can do this in any, in nearly in any technique. And that's so important, you know, to put your weight into the contact point to make the technique much stronger, much better. I hope this helps. If you like my videos, subscribe my YouTube channel and check out my video series. The links are in the description below. So, um, hope you like it and see you soon.